Hello there, Dr. Russell Sharp from Utrema here. I'm at my local sports field. As you can see, there are loads of fairy rings. These appeared in this autumn after the summer drought. So during the drought, all the grass uh, went brown and we thought it died off. Obviously it hadn't, but when the rains returned in the autumn, the fairy rings appeared. And because the fungus in the fairy rings exudes hydrophobic substances, the grass has died off dramatically around it. So we need to treat it and we need to control it so it doesn't happen again. So we're going to have two products going down and I'll tell you what those are now. So what are we going to put down? Well we're going to put down our lime sulfur. This is a soil sterilant and it's organically certified but it is extremely powerful and it only lasts for three to four hours in the soil active. So then it breaks down to non-active ingredients which makes it great for putting down on sports turf. And we're not going to do a blanket application because we don't want to harm all the mycorrhiza, just the one that's causing the fungus that's causing the, the grass to die off. So that'll be a really good use for this product in sports turf because we don't want a residual fungicide that's going to be maybe put um, people who are going to use the sports field at danger in the future. And also we're going to allow other soil life to come in after that other fungi will come in just we're just trying to eliminate the fungus that's causing the fairy rings so lime sulfur is a great solution for that and then we're going to put down some clay drainer that's because we want to overcome the hydrophobicity that's been occurring when the fungus has grown and it's made the soil unsuitable for the absorption of water so clay drainer mixing with lime sulfur those two mix really well together normally this guy doesn't want to be mixed with anything but these two will work well together I'm going to use a watering can rather than a sprayer because it's only small applications we're only uh, applying a small area and it's a root drench a soil drench rather than a foliar application so there's no need for a backpack sprayer in this it's only small amounts so a watering can is perfectly well for this so when you're applying any agrochemical it's always a good idea to wear a hazmat suit and PPE um, it's always good practice however with the lime sulfur it is hazardous so you do need to wear full PPE and a type B filter mask. If you need any information on, on this and where to get them, then just let me know. But basically, screw fix uh, is my go-to place for a type B filter mask. Um, as I say, it's, it's allowed to be used in organic cultivation, and that's because it breaks down after three to four hours into just plant nutrients, calcium and sulfur. However, for those first three hours, it is extremely active. It smells of rotten eggs, and it's bright red, so you don't want to be getting that into your lungs hydrogen sulfide release and things like this. So wear your mask and you'll be dandy, okay? Oh, so that's half an hour of spraying lime sulfur and clay drain. Not the best job in the world to be doing, but you know, could be worse things to do in the sun shining. Um, so treated one with just the clay drainer, uh, 200 mils in a watering can, then just lime sulfur on this one, and then both of these 200 mils of both products in, in the watering can at very high dose, and you can see that the chalky deposits of the lime sulfur are appearing now. I'm going to get the, water, the hose on it now, uh, leave the sprinklers on for a bit, just to drive that chalkiness off the leaf surface, and the clay drainer being a soap, a surfactant, it could be a bit slippy. They're playing on here tomorrow. Uh, there's a few matches going on, so we don't want people slipping um, on the turf. And so the other reason we want to put the sprinklers on is that um, the fungus is not just living on the top surface, it's living further down. So we're going to drive those active ingredients further down. When I was spraying it, an important point to consider is don't just treat the area that's been killed or is growing well, treat the outer area as well, because these, these fungi are growing out, and so they'll be colonising this area beyond where it's visible to the human at the surface as well. So we want to get the lime sulfur and the clay drainer out beyond the fairy ring to treat it. Otherwise, you're just treating the symptoms rather than the actual fungus itself. So on the face of it, some years, fairy rings are not a problem. They don't kill off the grass. But on a dry year like we've had to this year in 2025, because of all those hydrophobic exudates, then that's meant the grass can't recover and it's died off. It's not, the fungus is not trying to kill the grass, it's trying to live with the grass, it's just that its waste or its, its byproduct of its, of its natural life cycle has meant that the grass has died and it's moved on to other grass as well.
Okay, so I'll quickly get on the sprinklers now, and then we'll hopefully see some results in the, the upcoming days and weeks, and uh, we'll can compare it to the untreated areas. Thank you very much. This ferry ring here next to the pavilion, treated with just a clay drainer. This ferry ring here, treated with just lime sulphur. This ferry ring here, treated with lime sulphur and clay drainer. And then this one in the middle here, it's got, not too big, but it's got major damage just on the edge of the pitch. It's been treated with both the clay drainer and the lime sulphur. All other ferry rings have been untreated for now. So it's 10 days since the treatment and I didn't think we'd get a result this quickly, but we have because the four fairy rings that got treated with the lime sulphur and the clay drainer um, are completely clear of toadstools and toadstools have appeared on all the other fairy rings around the site. So no toadstools here, no toadstools here, no toadstools here and this one here, which was the really damaged one. You want to come in, Dan? Um, this is the one where there was a lot of damage to the turf. There's no fairy rings here. But if we come to this one here, or any of the other fairy rings on this sports field, you'll see there's loads of toadstools. Um, they're infecting it all around the damaged area. If you want to just do as a close up there, you can see there, there's loads of toadstools appearing. So we've definitely killed off the fairy ring fungus. Whether that's permanent or a temporary measure, I don't know, but for 400 mils of product and five and a watering can per, fa per fairy ring, I think that's a really good result. Just one, one watering can, 400 mils of product, 200 mils of lime sulphur, 200 mils of, of clay drainer. That's a fantastic result. We're now going to go and treat every single fairy ring and we haven't harmed any of the other soil biology outside of the fairy rings. We've not got a residual effect, so it's not a permanent fungicidal effect it's just a one one off soil sterilization to get rid of that problem well not pathogen but problem organism in the sports turf in that area so um, a great result I'm really pleased